can't let nobody stress me out. This mountain of clothes. Oh God. Oh, it burns. Y'all see your girl slimming up? Y'all know it's Zara. Them people don't be really be friendly like that. Happy Monday. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend and I hope your week is starting off right. Well, whatever day you are watching this, because this ain't going to go out on a Monday, but whatever day you're watching this, I hope your week is productive, it's blessed, and it's full of unexpected blessings and all that good stuff, you know? So anyway, y'all know I'm out here sitting in front of the gym, waiting on my time slot to start. Um, I didn't do anything this weekend. I pretty much just chilled. I hung out with Jennifer for a little bit. We went out to eat. Um, she saw the new house. Uh, the kids had basketball games that I went to. I just didn't vlog this weekend because it was just normal. Y'all don't pay attention to my hair. Let me... Y'all see this right here? Okay, so I redid my bald cap, whatever, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me redo it so it'll be fresh for Monday when I wear my headband wig because... Y'all know I don't like wearing a regular wig if I don't have to. These headband wigs come in clutch. And I totally forgot my sideburns be showing. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, I was in a rush this morning. So, I couldn't, like... I could have lifted it and cut it. But, you know, when it's, like, freshly, like, glued down, you got to just be, like, careful. So when I get home, I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut that off. So I'm going to try to keep my hair like this. Yeah. And then whenever I just do wear a regular wig, I'll just redo it. So anyway, um, I was just checking in with you guys. I ain't got nothing to really catch y'all up on, nothing to talk about. Remember how I said I'm taking off the month of May from traveling? Uh, I think a lot. <laughs> I might be going somewhere before the month is over. We'll see, though. Not like an extravagant thing. It's just going to be like a little quick weekend getaway type thing. So, but I didn't have any plans on traveling this month. And it was just presented to me. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm free that weekend. You want to? Okay, let's do it. So, I think after the gym, I'm probably going to go get my eyebrows arched. They just look too thick. They've been growing, but I just think that they're too thick. Because you can't even see an arch anymore in them. They just like straight. I don't know. I don't want to regret making them too thin. Okay, y'all. Let's get this workout in. I am going to do the... After my workouts for the past two weeks, I started um, doing the treadmill or the elliptical. I was watching somebody on Instagram the other day. And they were talking about doing the 2330 method. Which is on your treadmill you put it at an incline no the 12 330 sorry y'all you put your incline at 12 pace of three for 30 minutes there's some girls that were saying that's all they do three times a week and they've lost weight so i'm like okay i'm already with my personal trainer <laughs> I'm back, you know, trying to eat right and then I, I'm incorporating that too. So I'm a, I'm gonna see I'm going to see. So I'll let y'all know how it goes. This is today's gym outfit, y'all. Y'all see your girl slimming up? Do you see your girl slimming up just in the past two weeks of me making a big change? Do you see your girl slimming up? The hips have gotten smaller. You see it? 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 The hips have gotten smaller. I just need my arms. Y'all look at my arms. I need my arms to get smaller. My face has gotten slimmer. The booty's still bootying. But yeah, your girl has just really been going hard for the past two weeks. Um, I'm really not talking about it that much with y'all just because I know I get on the wagon and I fall off. I get on the wagon, I fall off. I know that's life. It happens to the best of us. But I know you guys are getting tired. Oh, somebody's walking by. Let me be quiet. 
know you guys are getting tired of me um you know talking about it and then not sticking to it so i'm just doing this weight loss journey for myself that's all you know if y'all see me gain the weight back don't say nothing don't judge okay it happens but right now we're doing good we're trying to unbig our backs for summertime and we want to stay fine through winter too so we we trying we're doing our best you know eyebrows done got them a lot thinner than what i usually do but i think i like it though what y'all think Okay, y'all just got home. I need to eat some breakfast. I'm gonna attempt my smoothie bowl that I made last week. It was okay. I need to kind of master or try to perfect the smoothie portion of it. It wasn't, it melted too quick. I think if I actually buy some acai, it'll thicken it up. Yeah, we'll see. But anyway, I'm about to make a yogurt bowl this girl if you're watching hey girl i don't know her name I, I can't think of her instagram name right now but she messaged me on instagram and she was like this looks so good this is something that you should try to make and i'm like oh my god i have all the ingredients i just don't have dates and i'm not a huge date person so it's apple granola peanut butter honey and that's it i don't think i'm gonna use peanut butter these are These are the ingredients right here. You dice up an apple, granola. She had peanut butter on hers. I'm not gonna use peanut butter. She had peanut butter and honey. I'm just gonna do honey. I'm gonna put some cinnamon. Good Lord. I just took a, a sip of my water and it must have went down wrong because I'm gassy. But anyway, my base is gonna be yogurt. So I have a vanilla Greek yogurt that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna put my little little spin on it and see how it goes and i'll let you guys know i'm about to take an immunity shot yes and then my morning vitamins y'all already know which vitamins i take i've shown you guys i take the same regimen of vitamins daily it really doesn't change too much oh baby i smell it ginger oh oh god oh it burns Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ginger, turmeric, and elderberry. Bitch, I should have known. Oh, remind me never to buy this one again. But mama ain't raised no punk, so we about to finish it. chopped up our apples i don't know if i want to use yogurt now if y'all hear some talking i'm just watching fun fact about me i love watching first amendment audits on youtube i don't know i just i love it i get a rise out of it but anyway um yeah so i don't know if i want to do the girl didn't use yogurt she did use lemon juice and i love lemon juice on my apples or a little organic lemon juice a little bit of ground cinnamon. You don't need a lot. Cinnamon, granola, reduced sugar. The peanut butter that she used, y'all, was so thin. I got regular, like, jiffy. Kids peanut butter. She has some type of fancy, I, I want to say organic stuff i don't know because she was able to just drizzle her, her peanut butter on top and then we're gonna add a little bit of honey i'm not a big honey eater i like honey on my popeye's biscuits honey butter biscuits and that's about it maybe i can microwave the peanut butter you know what maybe i can microwave the peanut butter let me try it just like this it looks like a bowl of cereal I have a feeling it's gonna taste like a healthy apple pie. I'm excited. I mean, it's good, but it misses on. 
We're gonna both. <laughs> We're gonna both open a vanilla yogurt. I'm gonna take a spoonful of the yogurt because I don't want to douse the yogurt just on it and mess it up if I don't like it. And then I'm gonna take a spoonful of this concoction. A lot of people greek yogurt is the healthier yogurt i know a lot of people hate it you either hate it or you love it i love it y'all know i've been eating greek yogurt for many many years i've used it as a substitute as for sour cream for years so do you get plain greek yogurt put it on your tacos and it's just a healthier option mm, that's very good once again when I don't vlog in days, I'll be forgetting I gotta catch y'all up on certain stuff. In my last vlog, I bought this new oatmeal that I was like, oh my God, everything is just like low, the calories, the sugar, compared to the other oatmeal that I usually buy. This is so tasty, y'all. If you like oatmeal, oatmeal is another thing. People either love it or they hate it. It's like no in between. I love oatmeal. This is such a better option than like Quaker oatmeal. And it's so good. It's so good. If you watch my last vlog, don't watch it right now. Watch this vlog and then go back to my, my last vlog after this. I, I did the um, comparisons of the nutrition to the... This one blows the other one out the water. Y'all just got a sheet in package as I was finishing up my breakfast. So let's get into it. I think it's Shein. That's the only thing I've ordered recently. Yes! I got a lot of accessories. Okay, first thing I got is these earrings here. This is how they look on the model. And they were $2.40. Oh, this dress for some reason came in a separate package like two or three days ago and I didn't show you guys. I don't know why they shipped it by itself. But I got this dress, super cute. I said, this is good for vacation. Y'all know I'm gonna color block, style it up. It was $15, I got a size large. Okay, then I got a pink clutch. Y'all just don't listen to me no more when I say I'm not buying items for vacation anymore. Just don't listen to me because I really just be talking to myself to try to talk myself out of doing it and then I just do it and I do it with overkill. So yeah, a pink vacation clutch. This is how it looks. It was, what does that say, $5.20, and it does come in five other colors. Got some more geometric earrings. This is how they look on the model, $1.60. Got this necklace. This is thick. It's a choker. This is how it looks on the model. It was $4.20, and they do have, like, silver. They have it in thinner. They have a, a bunch of different variations of it. Y'all know I love me a chain a ch chain bracelet, chain necklace. Y'all know that's like my jam. And I just got some more of these earrings. Y'all know I already have a few pair of earrings like this already. But I was like, oh, this style is cute. So I just got these in orange. I already have orange vacation earrings, but for $1.90, like, I'll get some more. Then I got these spiral hoop earrings. That's how they look. And then I got another choker. This reminded me of something like you'd see at Zara. That's how it looks on the model. And you can see it was only $2.80. Y'all know I am a hat girl on vacation. This is how the hat looks. It's just a woven bucket hat. Let's see if it fits. They didn't have any sizes. It was just the one size fits all. And y'all know this is not a universal size head. Oh, it has no stretch to it. I mean, I guess if it's, yeah, if it's, what did I say, D-Y? Why I gotta say that right there? D-Y fashion. I mean, it's cool, it fits. Yeah. how much was it, $8? This might not fit. <laughs> it was only, uh, I think I paid $5 for this, hold on. $5.85. That's how much I paid for this skirt. This is how it looks. It's 
So hopefully it fits. Sometimes knitted items, I don't know. We'll see. Then I got this green bikini. It was $7 and some change. I got a size extra large. I've been liking a lot of neutral color bathing suits recently because I mean, I can wear this with this bucket hat or I could wear it with this skirt. I, I've just been trying to stay away from like super colorful bikinis and either getting neutral color or solid color bathing suits. Okay, then lastly, I got a pair of sandals. I did not need another pair of sandals, but these just looked real cute and chic to me. This is how they look. I thought these were different. I don't have any sandals like this. I got them in a size nine. Let's see. Sometimes in sandals, I'll be needing a size eight. Ooh, they're perfect. Oh, wow, they fit perfect, perfect. I was just imagining these with like some flowy linen pants, you know? Yeah, it's 1130 and I've been literally just pacing around the house waiting on the garage people to call me because they said they will call 30 minutes in advance. My time window is from 9 a.m. to 12 noon and they said that they will call me 30 minutes before. It's now 1130. Like, and it, ta and, it's gonna, and it takes me 30 minutes to get to the new house. Well, almost 30 minutes. My new house is about like 25 minutes with no traffic, like 25 minutes from here. So that's why I haven't changed my clothes. I haven't like done any editing. Like I haven't like, I've literally just been like, okay, they're going to call me any minute. And as soon as they call, I just need to be able to grab my, my keys and go. And it's just like, I hate when y'all, when they do these time frames, because it's like, I don't know. It's like my day is being wasted. Like I can't start on any sponsorships. I can't, I didn't want to be in the shower and my phone ring and then I got to jump out, hurt and drop myself and go. And it's just like too much. Like, please, 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 please. And then watch, they be like, oh, we're so sorry. Can we come between 12 and two instead? Y'all done messed up my morning and have you waiting and watching the clock all night, all day. It's about to be one o'clock. No phone call, no text. Hella annoyed because... And what really does annoy me also, Ethan wanted me to bring him lunch today at school, but because I was waiting on that phone call, I had to tell him no. So that pissed me. That almost like made me like want to cry because I'm just like, my baby don't never, he never asked me for anything. And I could have done it. But these idiots have now went past the, their time and I don't even have a number. I need to call my, you know what? I need to call my the management company. That's who I need to call because I don't have the number to the garage people. It's, it's just hell annoying. Anyway, I put a different wig on because of, y'all know, my situation with my um uh, wig cap. So I just, let me put this wig on. This wig was looking fried, dyed, laid to the side and I put some oil and mousse and water in it. So hopefully it looks good. I have not worn this wig in forever. Probably like a year. So I'm, I don't know how it's going to look. But anyway, just giving you guys an update. Nothing has transpired at all. So y'all hear Keno in the background. I'm watching his vlog. This boy ain't posted a vlog in so long. And he just popped out of nowhere. So. Y'all, I just did a mini skincare routine, and I just have to say, your girl is glowing. Skin just, mm, skin for the win. Mm. Okay, let's eat some lunch. Is that pomegranates? What is that? I think those are the dried. Um, it oh, I'm not, I'm not getting that. The one that I use. Dried berries? Is dried this berries? One. This is the one that I usually get. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. No, this is the one that I always get. Is the dried berries good? Yeah, they're crunchy. They're good. And I get granola added to it. So, any mini, mini, mo, catch a tiger, tie, step, ever, how, let it go. Ha, ma, ta, me, two, three, three, that's what, and you are it. One, two, three. Those are my lucky numbers. And one, two, three, four. You're impressed by it? I just don't like it. Oh, I think that's mine. Ashley getting hers. I don't know. 
with these bears. Funny. Huh? Okay, ready, Ethan? Whoa, what? What is this? Just open it. Yeah, cook. It smells nasty, but I think it's oh good. Oh my god. That smells nasty too, but it's good. Alright, Ashton. Ready? Three, two, one. Mm, is it? Oh, I'm eating it. Oh. Is it? It's so good. Let Ethan taste yours. You want to taste yours, Ethan? Nothing could be better about it. Y'all just tried Ashton's. Hers? Hers is the bomb. She got the Bee Berry Sting Substitute Honey for Peanut Butter Drizzle. Baby. At first the peanut butter stick, but you have to mix it in or else it's gonna taste nasty. It's so good. And her acai base, it's different than Ethan's. Her acai base looks like pomegranate or something. Dragon fruit or something. I don't know, but it look good. And it tastes good. Oh, I didn't get myself one because I was like, even though it's healthy, I just I don't need them calories. I mean, it's full of sugar. But if you get it with peanut butter, you have to mix it in or it's going to take this stuff. Ethan sang the new house for the first time. Oh, it's my room. It's Ashton's room. So Ashton saw the house for the first time last week. Jennifer came and saw the house for the first time this past weekend on Saturday. And then now it's huh? Ethan's first time. Now I just gotta uh, uh, get us time with Byron so he can come see the house too. And then that's that's everybody. Cause Tina done seen it cause she's the one who helped me get it. <laughs> Yo, let's do a little Amazon haul. I'm doing spaghetti for dinner tonight because tomorrow we can eat leftovers. I don't have to cook because Ashton has practice tomorrow and there's a parent meeting afterwards. So y'all know we already get home late from practice because it's so far away. Oh, sorry, it's loud. Did Amazon put all my they put all my stuff in one package this time? Thank you, Amazon. I be getting so annoyed when they be putting in individuals. I bought some equal. I did not know equal does not come in like a pour y'all know how y'all get the big thing of sugar and you can pour it in your coffee or your espresso or whatever it only comes in packets so so i bought equal packets like it's a dang on coffee shop or something <laughs> they were like three dollars that was cheap next oh yeah this is for vacation Y'all saw in my um, last vlog, I bought the Bum Bum Cream. That's for home. This is for vacation. If you guys are looking for a really good smelling lotion that has your skin looking glossy, glistening, shining, get this one, the Coco Cabana. Bum Bum Cream smells really good, but it doesn't have, it don't make your skin shiny. That's why this is going to be for, for vacation. And then naturally sunny. Why does this say heavy lift care? Sir, this is a. Is he I don't know if he came inside or not. Naturally sunny had this. I hate that. Why would they put the ugly little sticker over top of this? It's the eyebrow gel. It's called eyebrow glue. She used it and y'all know naturally sunny. Her eyebrows are like perfect. Oh, I see why, because it's toe up from the flow up. Did somebody return this? That's annoying if they did. All right, so so, get a box, you get the it's a glue for your brows. Tell me ready, Mom. Baby, you see I'm recording. Uh, Hold on, wait a minute. She said it works good. I trust her, so we'll we'll pay a little bit more closer attention to this when i'm in an actual mirror i'm literally just using the screen of this camera 
I'm about to say it smells good, but I think it just kind of smells like the lotion that it was packed with. Okay. I mean, whatever. We're going to use it. We're going to keep it. And then I just bought two books. Um, I bought two books to read because... Remember when I was telling you guys I want to go on a wellness retreat, a wellness vacation? I booked that. So I do have a wellness vacation coming up. So I got some books to read while I'm there. And yeah, that is my Amazon haul. I can link these items down below if you guys are interested. If you don't buy nothing else out this, what I just showed y'all, buy this lotion. It smells so freaking good. It's like just the perfect summertime scent. Okay. I'm just checking back in before I go to bed, y'all. Just ate me a juicy ass mango while I'm sitting here watching Basketball Wives. I had to catch up. I'm three episodes behind. Like, they're already at the reunion. And then I think um, Real Housewives of Atlanta just came back on. Like, I'm just behind on my reality TV. But anyway, I'm about to take my gummy. Yes, I still take my gummies before bed. The hims and hers. Y'all know I love these. They're melatonin gummies. It's supposed to take two. But because I'm bigger, I take three. And that's really with like any medicine. Whatever the recommended dosage, I always take more like Tylenol. It says take two for adults 12 and older. I mean, I'm three times the size of a 12 year old. <laughs> So, yeah, two Tylenol is not going to work for me. So, I always take three Tylenol. Those gummies, I always take three of those, even though I'm supposed to take two. But anyway, you guys, y'all get it. So, anyway, um, oh, update on the brows. That brow gel is a go. My brows look so nice. They're still sitting up perfectly. Yes, I have it linked down below. It's not greasy, like... It's not flaky. It's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Worth it. So Sunny, thank you for recommending those. Um, yeah, y'all. That's it. Catch y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm just checking in with you guys. I am in bed, probably about to take a nap. <laughs> or not really. Let me not say take a nap. Well, I guess it will be a nap because I woke up at 7 a.m. So anyway, I'm eating this uh, concoction again. It is amazing and low in calories, low in sugar. And I just love it so much. It is storming outside. Y'all can't hear it, but you can tell how dark it is in my room. It was storming so bad last night. A tree fell on a car um, here in Houston and crushed the lady on the inside. Uh, it's just... Hurricane season is approaching. It is fast approaching, guys. So I say in the past 30 days, we've only had maybe four days of real sunshine. And it's supposed to rain for the rest of this week and next week as well. So anyway, I'm just laying in bed, watching TV, being lazy. This is just my check-in. Don't know if I'll be vlogging today. But I had to tell my besties, hey, what's up? Good morning. <laughs> Y'all, the sun finally came out like halfway. I I was watching the news and it was a bunch of parts of Houston that already flooded, cars flooded, people having to get rescued out their cars like yeah, Houston is no joke. I'm just I'm just saying, but I've been a lazy bum all day. Didn't do no work. Responded to like half my emails. I just didn't I ain't want one to be bothered today. I wanted to watch reality TV and watch youtube videos that's literally all i wanted to do and lay in bed and i did just that so i just got the house i had a couple little errands to run like the post office little stuff like that i'm headed to kava now to get um some lunch and then go pick the kids up the rain was so bad this morning that they canceled ashton's basketball practice they sent the email out at like 9 30 10 a.m <laughs> And the practice ain't till 6 p.m. And they canceled it. They were like, the weather's too bad. Like, no, not having it. I'm like, cool, bet. I mean, the weather's perfect now. Well, we could drive in it. The the flooding is gone. And But if I ain't got to make that drive, I ain't got to make that drive. So, 
let's run in Kava. I'm gonna leave you guys in the car because I am in kind of a rush. And yeah, let's go. Oh, and you know, the last time I was in Kava, I, and sometimes, like I said, tell you guys, I think the camera makes people nervous, even though it's pointed at me. I know some, it just makes people nervous when they see a camera sometimes. And I get it. I understand that this is not like an everyday thing that you see. But the guy like was like slamming my food in the bowl. It was the weirdest thing. Like he wasn't saying anything. He would just stand in front of the next section of like the meats, the rices, the veggies, and would just stand there and just look at me. Like, tell me what you want. And Salada, Salada's like Chick-fil-A. They treat you like kings and queens. They're like, oh, I love your camera. What kind of camera is that? Okay, what do you want from this section? Okay, what type of veggies do you want? Da da da. Kava acting like Zara. Y'all know it's Zara. Them people don't be really be friendly like that. And they... Anyway, let's go. Like I said, we're on time crunch. Oh, and y'all, I got some Olipop. I don't know if I'm going to taste it on camera or not. But, yeah, I bought this from H-E-B the other day, I want to say. I got two different flavors. And is this like a TikTok thing? Because when Ethan saw it in the refrigerator, he was like, Oh, my God, Olipop. I want to try it. I want to try it. I'm like, this is like a probiotic soda. Like, what you know? What? What? They put way too much salad dressing, but it's my fault for not saying light. This is way too much. When I eat my salads, I'm like a Kardashian. Give me the thinnest consistency. I just need a little drizzle, drizzle. Put the lid on top. Do a little shake, shake, shake. So it'll get on top of everything. I don't. I do not like. A bunch of salad dressing. Ugh. But I am hungry. All I had was that um granola bowl from earlier. Y'all know that ain't nothing but one apple, half a cup of granola, half a cup of um yogurt. That don't last in your system. It's good. It's not like great. But it's good. I mean, how often are you supposed to drink these? They're for digestive health. Prebiotic, botanicals, and plant fiber. Like a vacation for your taste buds. <laughs> Let me call my baby daddy because I got to ask him a favor. Let's see if he's going to tell me yes or no. So the favor is... I need him to keep the kids on a weekend that's not his, on days. He would have to, like, go out of his way to take the kids to school and, you know. Mind you, he has never told me no. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. That's why I don't know why I'd be scared to call him and ask him for favors. He's never told me no. But he do do the... <sighs> really, Gina? Really? Their school is half an hour away from me. Really? And it'd be all that traffic in the morning. Really? Okay, fine. Oh, God. See, I hate that. That's what I hate. But let's see. Please leave your message for three. Hold on. That ain't go as planned. Please leave your message for three. I'll give it a few minutes. He must be make, trying to make a phone call. Um, Let me get two sausage and cheese kolaches. One coconut donut and one strawberry iced. Girl, Kelly not gonna get me demonetized. I ain't playing all that music. What? Kelly. That's who sings that song. Is there something wrong with her? If you play other people's music in your uh vlogs, uh they snatch your money away. Oh uh, no, don't play with that girl. Don't play with that girl. <laughs> ain't playing with her. <laughs> you want a uh, soda? Oh yeah. Or juice. Like a Fanta or something. A yellow Fanta? Let me tell her. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Here, baby. Thank you. Oh, it's back raining, y'all. Earlier, it was so dark. Like, I didn't do anything today. I literally... St it was so dark in the house, I stayed in bed all day. Thank you. Have a good one. Try to call your dad. What? I need to ask him a favor. I called him like three times. He didn't answer the phone. Well, his phone going straight to voicemail. Oh, there you go. Say hi when he gets on the phone. Uh, hi, 
Dad. What's up, Mommy? I gotta ask you a favor. What? No pressure. It's no pressure. Just F I don't want you to feel no pressure. If you say no, it's still all good. I ain't gonna be mad. It's all love. <laughs> um, I would just need you to keep them Sunday night, take them to school Monday morning, and I'd pick them. I'd pick them back up um, Monday for school. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Right. Look at your your daughter rolling. Who are you rolling your eyes at? Can y'all tell where I'm at? Walla 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 world. Walla 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 walla. <laughs> Y'all know I do not come to Walmart. I used to love Walmart. I just don't come here anymore. But Ashton needs some ink because she has to print some stuff out for a project. So here we are at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. Why did I get a basket? I don't know. Cause I need to only get ink and that's it, and not pick up random shit just cause I'm here. These shirts are so cute. I wish Ethan would let me dress him still. And they're only like $5. Aww. Oh, these are so freaking cute. My kids will only wear Nike. <laughs> now, how cute would this be for like family pictures? This is for little babies, y'all, by the way this little short set and then if you had a daughter you can dress your daughter in the dress oh my god oh they even have the denim set for little boys that is so cute oh i miss when they were this little see this one i need a grandbaby not right now but Whenever I do get one, ah, oh, y'all. Oh, mm. I could just love on her and send her home. Uh, I'm already checked out. I got just this, but then Ethan calls me and says he needs socks, all white socks. Oh, okay. Is this the kids section? His feet. So of course, I found some juice I've never seen before. Pineapple horchata. Do y'all think I should waste my money? I don't know. It just look good. It sound good. <laughs> Anything pineapple sounds good. Then of course I got zero sugar. That's a must. Y'all tell me why I walk out, it start beeping. Clearly it's because of the, um, the ink and not nothing else. It starts beeping. Then this random motherfucker behind me goes, Oh, she's stealing. Oh, she's stealing. Screaming it. I said, Is he about to pull out a camera? Am I on like a YouTube prank channel? Like, what the fuck is going on? I turn around, I go, <laughs> Like, with that little nervous laugh, like, I'm embarrassed, first of all, because I only got four bags like and i ain't stealing i got money in my bank account okay fuck and this fool gonna scream that out i said it's too late at night give me a this why i don't deal with walmart y'all y'all be asking gina but why i don't deal with walmart because of the foolery i was embarrassed nigga why you had to embarrass me even more good morning y'all well it's afternoon i think it's like 12 5 right now uh i'm just getting ready for the day i got some errands to run i need to go to the mall buy a birthday gift um what else probably go get me some lunch while i'm out if i have time y'all know i just be so short on time um yeah and that's pretty much it that's pretty much my wednesday nothing nothing too exciting I think I'm gonna put this Paco Rabane on or Raban Rabane. I don't know how you say it. I, I, I say Paco Raban. And the fragrance is called Fame. It smells so good. And this is my outfit for the day just a white t shirt, some high rise jeans, and then my Balenciaga sneakers. And then I think I'm gonna switch bags and wear a little, my little pink bag. So, yeah. Y'all, I just booked two trips last night. 
one for this upcoming weekend and one for the following weekend. It'd be so crazy that I just, I'd be having stuff in my mind. I'd be like, okay, no trips for the month of May. I'm not going anywhere for May. And look how stuff happens. It's just... But, so we have two trips coming up. So you guys will be seeing two travel vlogs. They will probably be the ones back to back right after this. Just quick trips. Like nothing like extravagant and all that. Just some quick trips. But of course, they're going to be the vibes. They're going to be fun. So I'm excited. So I am, this is how I look. I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow. Because when I booked those trips yesterday, I was like, oh my God, my, <laughs> my lashes my toes even though the first place i'm going i think it's cold i need to check the weather so but anyways just checking in let me finish getting myself together put some earrings on and then pick you guys back up okay y'all we are upstairs in my room that i call the dungeon i needed to get some uh mailing bags up here so i can mail off my um giveaway gift I know I'm bad. I was thought I had boxes and stuff. Then I was like, oh yeah, like I have bags upstairs I could use. So yeah, I'm like five, six days late mailing that. But anyway, this is my dungeon. These are all of my units that I need to sell. I probably will not sell them while I'm in this house. I probably will move with them, unfortunately. That's about five, 10, 15, about 20 units right here in these boxes. But what I am get anxiety about every time I come in this room is the mountain. This mountain of clothes is ridiculous. You can see it's like halfway up the windows. That's high. So what I am going to do. Oh, this is a lot. It's so much stuff, y'all. I would say like 85 to 90% of this stuff has tags on it because it's from sponsorships. I just get so much. But anyway, I am going to give these clothes away to you guys that live in the Houston area. If you live in Houston, Houston and surrounding suburbs, there's Houston, there's Missouri City, Stafford, Katy, Sugarland, Richmond, Rosenberg, um not anywhere too far out like i'm just i'm yeah if you live in the woodlands like that's just like too far from the area that i stay in that's like an hour drive so anyways what i'm gonna do is you guys dm me let me know where you live and i'm gonna put together huge bags of these clothes and i'm going to uber them to you okay so ladies, if you live in the Houston and surrounding suburbs, like I said, unfortunately, I'm not going to do like Galveston, uh, Humble, um, Woodlands. Those are all like an hour from me. So I'm not going to do an hour Uber. Sorry. I'm just, I ain't, <laughs> but you know, if you're, if you're somewhere that's not too, too far, we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it in the DM. I'm going to send these to you. I'm going to just put together bags of like size larges, size mediums. Some bags are just going to have like a variety of stuff. If you guys want shoes, I'll put shoes in there. I'm a size nine. So all of my shoes are between a nine and a 10. Um, I have accessories, sunglasses, swimwear. I mean, so much. So you're not going to get to just pick individual things. I'm going to just grab a whole bunch of size larges, put them in a bag, send them to you. Whole bunch of size mediums, put them in a bag, send them to you. So if any of you guys are interested, please DM me once this video goes out. You don't have to pay for anything. I'm going to pay for the Uber. <laughs> I'm going to pay for it and send it to you guys because I love you guys so much. I, I'm, I never make y'all you, you pay for nothing, okay? I'm going to send them to you. That's just a gesture of my love from me to you and it also helps me out because i don't like donating to places like um salvation army and goodwill because those are not those are those are for-profit organizations and to me they overprice because somebody who is struggling on hard times and they want to buy clothes for themselves for their kids those places are expensive i find way cheaper shit at dds at on clearance at old navy uh, y'all y'all know i mean so yeah i'm not donating to them so i'd rather donate to you guys y'all know i do donate to women's shelters so out of this pile of stuff that um that you guys don't want i'll just um put the rest like to the women's shelter so but anyway 
I just was coming up here to tell you guys this while I was getting my baggies. And I also want to show you guys something. Like, my kids, I don't know if I ever told you that, but my kids, they're like... They draw, like they really know how to just look at something and draw. And then they also just freehand stuff on their own. Look what one of them drew. Someone's gonna say, that's terrible. But it, to me, it, like, it looks like a Picasso. So this is their little art station. It's a little messy right here, but y'all look at this. Doesn't this look like some type of Picasso or something? Look at the colors they use. It's abstract, the eyes and all that. I, I don't know. I love that. So I'm going to figure out which um which one of my babies drew that because that's like, wow. My kids are like really talented. Y'all ever just know like, like, my kids are talented. Like they're amazing athletes. Ethan makes straight A's. I was never a straight, in, in middle school, ele elementary I was, but in middle school, oh baby, I was a BC student from middle school to high school. Ethan makes straight A's. Like, I just like, my kids got the talent that I didn't. You know, it's just, I don't know, it just makes me feel good. It just makes you feel a little warm and fuzzy on the inside, you know? Um, One of y'all asked for me to do a tour of my house once I move out. I thought I did that when I moved in. I thought I did an empty tour, but I guess I didn't. Maybe I didn't. The house before that, I know I did for sure because Jennifer recorded that for me. This house, I don't think I did because I was so unhappy with this house. So once I'm completely moved out and then I have my final cleaning, my uh, cleaning company comes in the last week of the month to um, do a move out clean, then I'll walk around and show you guys um, the full house. I don't know. I just thought I've, I thought y'all have seen that because... Guess not though. So I'll do that. And then um, the house that I'm moving into, um, I will be vlogging just how I vlog now, but I probably will not do a tour of that house either. And even though I absolutely love that house, that's just more so for, you know, safety purposes. You don't wanna just do a whole, just walk around holding the camera, just walking, gliding around your house, you know, so. But you guys will see what you need to see. You guys know I always vlog in the kitchen. I always vlog in my bedroom, my bathroom. And from time to time, I vlog in the living room. So you guys you guys will see enough, you know. So this weekend is my consultation for my interior de decorator. Um, I emailed her yesterday. I need to follow up with that because, yeah, I need there's some questions I need answered before we <laughs> move forward. But, um, oh, the pears on my tree are growing. I don't think I ever told you guys, but I have a pear tree in my backyard. I have a magnolia tree in my backyard. And my neighbors, their tree grows over, but they have oranges that always come into our yard. So, yeah, I'll eat them. The, uh, the neighborhood cats and raccoons and possums get them. But anyway, let's make some coffee so we can get our errand started. Thank you so much. We're in my favorite store, Dior. I'm buying a birthday gift, so. And I did buy something for myself that I don't need, but why not? <laughs> oh, Lord. But y'all, look at these shoes right here. Hold on. These just look like some shoes you'd wear when you're working at a hospital. Child, what is these? I'm so confused. That's so crazy. I mean, they're good for the rain, I guess. But no, not good for the rain because they open. I'm confused, Dior. Hey, y'all. I'm back home for a moment. I am actually thinking about going back to the mall in a few because it was something that I was trying on a shoe I was trying it on at the mall it had like an ink pen mark on it the guy went to the back to grab another shoe when I tell you he got lost in the back I don't know what happened he was back there for 
every bit of like 10 minutes it doesn't sound like a long time but to find a, a one pair of shoes inside of a small store that's a long time the security guard was like are you okay you're just standing there i'm like but i don't know what the guy went to the back end i'm like can you go get him he was like oh he's the manager he's probably just looking for anyways i had to go so i'm like well can you tell him my name is gina and i'll be back so i plan on going back tonight we'll see it might have to wait till tomorrow i don't know but let's do a quick little haul i did get a package from amazon and i could link these down below if you guys are interested if not whatever they're just some plain shoes these are from a brand called ooh, Nomadic State of Mind. So they're handmade. I think they're so cute. They're handmade rope shoes. And then this part ties around your ankle. So they were a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Did I buy these from Amazon? I think I ordered or did I get them from? No, they were, I found them on Amazon, but they were a few dollars more expensive on Amazon. It was like two dollars cheaper to buy them from their actual website oh, and then it came with a little keychain that's cute so all of their um shoes are just like rope handmade shoes let me get my phone so i can show y'all a picture this is what they look like on the website they don't have like a good picture of like a model wearing them it's like they used a picture of like a review so anyway that's how they look i have been wanting these sandals for a while now and i was like let me just go ahead and get them why are you, you waiting? Then I went to the Dior store. I had to pick up um, some birthday gifts for some people. And then I got myself something. So I got myself these cute little friendship bracelets. This is how they look. And then I also got my friends some friendship bracelets as well. I got them different colors though. So this actually matches my sandals, I think. I'm almost positive, hold on. You can't really see, but this is like gold. It's sparkly. This is gold. It ain't perfect match, but I think it's, it's good enough. And then this one matches my Dior bag. Let me see. Yeah. I know with friendship bracelets, you're supposed to get like a two pack. You keep one, your friend keeps the other one. I did a little bit different. I bought them their own separate colors. We all gonna have our own colors, okay? Okay, then I went to Zara, picked up a couple things. Their line was ridiculously long for the, um, what's it called? The fitting room. So I'm like, I'm taking this stuff home to try it on. So I just got this little like brownish rust color one shoulder tank top and then it's kind of like asymmetrical right here. This one's kind of the same, a little cream top. It got the little cutout right there. This is just a little green short set and they're like supposed to be like Bermuda shorts. We gonna see how that, we gonna try that on and see how it looks. It looks, it looked cute on the model but the model was, um you know, 20 pounds so. <laughs> Then we got this uh, denim top. Cute. The price was not cute, but y'all know I am a denim, denim girl. So y'all know I love denim on denim. So I'll be wearing those with some jeans if it fits. This is a denim midi dress. They did have this in two colors. This is the lighter shade. Then they had a dark, dark, dark blue color. And then this is a knitted midi dress. And it has the back out. The only bad thing about this, because it's white and the back is out, you can't wear a bra with it. So I don't know if it's gonna be see-through, but we about to try them on. Okay, this is very cute. I actually have one similar to this on the way from AliExpress that I paid $15 for. I can link it down below. Well, let me not link it down below until I receive it because it, it, it might be trash quality. I've ordered stuff from AliExpress that's been amazing. I'm like, this is the same quality of Fashion Nova and like Shein and Zara. It's like all the same, you know, nice quality. Then I've had stuff from AliExpress that was made out of a durag. So anyway, this is cute. It is a little high, $50 to me for something denim is expensive, but it fits very nicely. Like this fits very good. I got a size extra large as you can see. 
take a screenshot of this so you can find it online. Oh, I'm in love, y'all. I am in love. Okay, this is the next top. I'm not... Uh, this is just... It's not giving what I thought it was going to give. I honestly thought it wasn't going to be cropped. I thought it was going to come down to at least right here. And then the split just show... I just... I didn't know it was going to be cropped, y'all. So, this one might be going back. Okay, so I'm back. I kind of styled it. So, this is what I had in mind for it to be worn with, like, some jeans or even some loose-fitting, um, like, linen pants or something. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, it's cute, but it's just not... I don't know. So y'all, this is the same cut, but I like how this one's slightly longer. So this one has just one shoulder, one arm out. I wouldn't necessarily carry this bag, but I'm just, I definitely wouldn't wear a light color jean with it, but I'm just trying to see how it all looks. This is cute. I, I love this color. So this is the tag for this one. If you guys are interested, scan your TV screen. If y'all are watching me on your TV and find it on the Zara app. And then for the cream one, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep the cream one too. Um, scan that. Am I the only one who keeps these on their clothes? Y'all, I love these things. Do y'all use these? I, I love them. So when I have this on the hanger, this one will go up here and then this one goes around the, um, the hook. I know a lot of people cut theirs, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm very big about my clothes not falling off the hanger. <laughs> It's annoying when, when it's on your body, but it spends more time in the closet than it does on my body. Okay, my kids are outside playing with their friends, so there's nobody here to zip me up for this. It's cute, but I don't think that I like it. I don't think that I like this for me. It has a split in the back. I don't know I'm not too big on splits in the back. I don't know. A back split just gives me business. And I don't know why. I'm I'm weird, y'all. Okay? Just give me business. Party in the front. Bam! Business in the back. Where's the meat net, bitch? But yeah, I think this is going back. I, I don't like it. And it's like smashing my hips. Yeah, I don't. This is the tag and the code if you are interested. All right. This is the next item, just a cream midi dress. It is like a thin, like sweater material. I got this in a size large. The back is open, as you can see, so you cannot wear a bra with it. I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want if you buy it, but I don't think a bra is meant for it, especially how close it is cut here, your straps will show. But anyway, yep, yeah, that's this. Um, it did come in, I wanna say three, two or three other colors, and I think it also came striped, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is the next outfit. Um, it came separately, but the model had it on together. I don't know how I feel about this right here. I don't know why it's so like loose in the crotch right here. Do I gotta pull it up more? I don't know. Maybe I just need to pull it up, but then I get the camel. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna play with it, but I like it. I like, I like this. I just have it tucked in the front or I could probably wear it maybe just one in, one out. If I wanted to, I could also tie it up. You know, just tie it right here, right at the waist. Maybe, possibly. Ooh, it wrinkles a lot. Ooh, that was quick. That was quick, that wrinkled fast, okay. Wouldn't necessarily wear it with this bag, but it's definitely an option. Oh, y'all, this extra fabric in the crotches. I don't know, it's throwing me off. Okay, maybe a pop of color. I don't know, y'all. It's like I got a bulge. Like I'm holding eight inches. What? Look at that. Barbecue jerk chicken for dinner. I ain't never you made jerk chicken. I ain't never used no jerk sauce. My Jamaican boyfriend is like, what the fuck? 
I showed him what I got and he's like, um, yeah, you on your own with that one. But anyway, this is what I got from HEB. I got it probably like a month ago. It's my first time using it. So, I mean, it smells good. I mixed it with the sugar-free barbecue sauce just because, you know, you got to have balance. So, it smells good. Smoked paprika is like key when you cook chicken. Of course, y'all already know that. And then I'll probably just make a little bit of rice to go with it. Maybe some um, corn or green beans or macaroni. I don't know. It's going to be something quick though. But this is dinner. I'm going to put it in the oven. We just going to cook it on low for like two, two and a half hours. It's six. The mall closes at nine. The mall is half an hour away. I'm talking out loud. Oh, let me show. Y'all, I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. <sighs> this shirt that I showed y'all, that I said, this ain't about shit. This material is terrible. How dare Lueve sell a shirt at this price with this material? Like, I don't... Anyway... I assumed I had 30 days to return it. I just, I'm just so used to returning to regular stores like Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Zara, whatever, whatever. You have 30 days. Y'all, 14 days and my time period is gone. I'm like, ain't no way. When this came in the mail, I was traveling at the time. And then, then when I came back, I just, I let it sit and then... I wound up opening it on camera with y'all and I just, time got away from me. When I looked at the receipt today, cause I was gonna put it in the mail today, it said 14 days. Why we had 21 days already? <laughs> so I missed it by a week, so I'm pissed. Um, it's nothing I could do. Now they do have a 30 day exchange policy in store. Ain't no store in Houston, so. I'm stuck with it. I need to start paying more attention. Y'all know that happened to me another time with uh, Versace. I had bought a Versace bag a couple years ago and it really wasn't, once I brought it home, it wasn't like the right tone of brown. So I returned it the very next day and they were like, oh, there's Versace does not have a return policy. I'm like, excuse me. They're like, no, you can only exchange or get a store credit. I should have learned my lesson with that because that was like, $2,800 that I had to, get. child. <sighs> anyway, so I guess it's mine. So I'm leaving the mall again, y'all. My first experience inside of a Lululemon. Never. And all the shopping that I do, never have I been on their website. Never have I been in a Lululemon store. I did not try anything on, but I did touch and feel and stretch out a lot of their stuff. And... I just wasn't impressed for the price. Maybe I should try them on when I have more time because you girls seem to love Lululemon, like absolutely love them. <sighs> Close to $300 for a set, an athleisure set is just mind boggling to me. You know, I buy all of my athleisure stuff like on deep clearance. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try them out. We do have a Lululemon outlet here in Houston. Um, the guy in the store who I was talking to, because I got my trainer, um, his his birthday is Monday, so I got him a gift card. So I'm gonna put that over there. I go to him tomorrow, so I'm either gonna give it to him tomorrow or Friday. He said he's gonna take Monday off because he's gonna be too drunk. So I might seem too, I don't know, I might give it to him tomorrow. Anyway, um, I might try the outlet first because y'all, the prices are correct. Prices are crazy. Oh my God. Yeah, so the guy was telling me, he was like, the good thing about the Lululemon, they can make up their own prices. He was like, us? He was like, our prices for sale stuff isn't that good. He said, if something is $60, we might mark it down to 54. He says at the outlet, he said they might have a whole rack of sports bras that are $10. Um, buy three pair of shorts and if you buy three pair of shorts they'll all be five dollars each he said that they'll have like crazy door buster sales they'll have like oh for the next hour all of our tank tops are twelve dollars they do stuff like that 
So he says that he really, really likes the outlet. He says they have a lot of larger sizes in stock there. Um, he said they get all the fun colors too. Um, yes, I'm gonna try them out. Before I jump on the Lululemon bandwagon, I am going to try their the outlet first and see what I think about that. And then the length of the pants. All of the pants were 23 inch in, in bleh, I can't talk. I've been drinking or some shit. 23 inch inseam, 25 and 28. I'm tall. Like, will a 28 inch inseam for leggings fit me? Like, will it come all the way down to my ankles? I don't know. That just seems very short. But I know Chelsea Janae, she's tall like me, and she swears by their stuff. And Amina Coco, she's tall like me also. And they're both thick women. So they said that the leggings are good. I, you know, I'm just, I'm like 28 inches. The hell? That's for somebody who's like 5'6", in my opinion. You know, so anyway, we shall see. We'll go one day. And of course, I would take you guys along with me. Also, I did return that denim dress to Zara. And then I told you guys that... I was out of time earlier. There was a pair of shoes and a bag that I wanted. I looked online. It says they close at 9 o'clock. I walk up to their door at 8.05 and the doors are closed. And I'm looking at the security guard like, can I get in? He's like, no, we're closed. I'm like, but online it says 9 o'clock. He was like, no, we close at 8. I'm like, ain't this <sighs> Then I looked online. I'm like, oh, I can just order online. I looked online and it says... Your item will ship in one to two weeks. I'm an instant gratification type bitch. I need my I, one to, I ain't waiting one to two weeks. But I know I can come here in the morning and get it. So I'm annoyed by that anyway. Hey y'all, good afternoon. Just leaving from getting my lashes done. Just got the mega volume wispies. Cause y'all know I'm going on a trip this weekend. So I had to get the fresh, the fresh wings done, you know? But today has been a morning. It has been a day. I just, whoo, Lord Jesus. That's that's really all I could say. Just my goodness. I, it's, I just been going through a lot today, but I know it's gonna be a better day. Um, I ain't gonna let nobody stress me out. That's all. That's it. That's all. I can't let nobody stress me out. Especially for their stupidity. That's the. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, so I am actually headed to run a few errands right now. I haven't eaten anything. All I've had is half a cup of coffee today because my nerves have just been on. Not on 10. No. My nerves have been on like 8. So I haven't had an appetite all day. I just been. Child, me and Jennifer been on the phone all day texting i'm going through some shit <laughs> she called me with some shit this morning it's just I, it's one of those days y'all i don't like to get on camera upset stressed out you know but that's life this is what i'm currently going through so anyways i just know it'll be a better day if you speak positivity over your life over your day you speak it like it's already happening if you can try to already act like your day is better even though i might be having a fucked up day you might be having a bad day you have to try to live your life like it's already done and then it will be a few hours from now i might be thinking like dang i can't believe i just let such and such situation stress me out now here i am chilling big chilling you know so anyway so that's where we're at now and yeah i'll pick you guys back up Whenever I'm doing something, it's like, no! Damn, no! Dance. <laughs> she back there dancing, but when the camera cut off, cut on, she gets shy. Mm. A KFC came out with some new nuggets, so we're about trying. to try them. You still what? Mm -mm. She got Taco Bell. Try one. They look Ooh, like, good. I mean, the commercial. They had a commercial for it. Mm. That was good. It tastes just like their chicken. Wow. Huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why does New York not have any hotels with two beds? 
like the ones that do have two beds are whoa shh okay that is quite quiet why the ones with this ain't gonna work hold on um yeah i'm just having a hard time finding a hotel room with two beds two queen beds they got kings for days but <sighs> me and tina are going to new york on saturday and i invited her so i'm like just stay in the room with me like you ain't gotta spend no you know buy your plane ticket and then just stay in the room with me but I ain't finding nowhere with two beds. And I ain't trying to share no bed. Y'all watch Basketball Wives? I just keep, when I see these rooms, I just keep thinking when Jennifer goes, Jackie, I ain't no deluxe bitch. <laughs> when Jackie preserved her room, she got everybody like a nice suite and then she got Jennifer the deluxe room. <laughs> and she just kept saying, do I look like a deluxe bitch? Oh, God. Yo, rooms in New York. New York hotels are crap. Look at this. So this is two queen beds. Look how they're facing. So there's a bed here, and then there's a bed facing right there. And a lot of these New York hotels, you're lucky if your room is 200 square feet. <laughs> Y'all look at this room. Do you see this space right here? That's your walking space in between the bed and the wall. My head is going to bump the TV. Look at that. I'm going to have to walk sideways. If y'all have never visited New York, just know everything in New York is congested. It's tight. It's packed on top of each other. Um, a lot of the hotels are narrow because everything is like built up because they don't have any land to build out like 151 square feet and I am not the type of girl who books a room and is like we only gonna be there to sleep we only there to change we only there no my room is important even if I'm only there to sleep my room is important I'm sorry Good morning and happy Friday. Y'all know I usually don't include Fridays in my weekly vlogs. I usually start a weekend vlog, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But because I am traveling this weekend, we adding Friday on. So, what up? Happy Friday. Your girl just leaving the gym. I am headed to the Lululemon outlet. I told you guys earlier in the vlog, my first time ever stepping into a Lululemon was this week. And then prices got my panties in a bunch i say you youtube girls y'all rich y'all rich i just um almost 300 dollars for an athleisure set i i i couldn't wrap my head around it okay anyway we're going to the outlet to see if i could find me some deals because the guy in the lululemon store was telling me that they got really good sales there so I don't know what he considers a good sale. Y'all know me. I think a good sale is if an item was $300 and then it was marked down to $1.25. That's a good sale. <sighs> Let me stop because I know it's not going to be marked that low, but the car is making some crazy loud noise every time I turn the wheel left or right now. <sighs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. So. When I get back in town, I guess I'll be putting my car in the shop and getting a rental car for a day or two. I don't know. But happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. We're at the Houston Premium Outlets, as you guys can Turn see. Right. Just from that sign, it says like Coach, Burberry. There's sex. The Lululemon is over here. There's Crocs, Nike Outlet. All that, all that. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk over the music. But anyway, these are like some of the sets that I found. I don't know my size. So I literally have from size 10 to 14. But this is 79, then the matching top. And then like these, 
were really cheap. 39 marked on that. These 49 marked down. This set, I'm really hoping this one fits because I love this color. And then this top or jacket. This rust color one fits so good. Oh my God. So good. Wow. So the jacket is a size 12 and the leggings are a 12. They're so stretchy. I probably could fit a 10, honestly. And the inseams only go up to 28, it looks like. But 28 comes all the way down to the ankle, so we good. Okay, I love the way the 10s fit. The 10s, that's my size. 10 snatches me in. Oh, I'm getting these two with the sports bra. I gotta try the sports bra on. I know it's gonna fit. I'll show y'all, I mean, y'all pretty much saw it, but I'll show y'all, cause I bought some little accessories too. But there's a New Balance outlet right there if anybody is interested. Oh, Forever 21. Hmm, we know that that's not an outlet. I don't think Forever 21 has outlets, but it could just have a larger clearance section than a normal Forever 21. So we'll, we'll take a peek in here. So y'all know they usually only have sales like this online. So just 30% off your purchase of 75. And you see it doesn't say for only parents items or whatever type of items. So let's go. So yes, this store is giving outlet for sure. Like denim shorts, $9. Shirts for 15. And then just everywhere in the store is 30% off, 40% off. 40% off. So, this shirt, y'all know I bought this, what, like one vlog ago? And now I can get it for 30% off. So, I'm gonna debate. <laughs> I might return my other one and buy this. Um, they even got my song visor. Y'all know I bought this last week too. I'm, I'm pissed off now. <laughs> I need to start making the drive out here whenever I want to go shopping, honestly. It's only like 30 minutes, which isn't too crazy. This is cute. This is so cute. So y'all, they have a Charlotte Russe outlet, and that's so crazy because Charlotte Russe is already cheap as hell, so. Them same like regular prices, if you ask me. Okay, let's keep it moving. Cosmetics company store. Y'all know this is where I buy all of my perfume from. I got all the perfumes. They got the candle. Ooh, Killian. Thank you, Mark. Have a good one. Okay, y'all. Picked up just a couple goodies from the CCS. I was a good girl, did not get any perfume, so I didn't need any. But shout out to Mark. He is the general manager over all of the locations in Houston. And he is just like amazing. Like if y'all need a perfume and it's not in the location you're at, he'll order it for you from a different location, ship it to you. Like he'll, yeah. So shout out to Mark and the staff because everybody's so sweet every time I go in there. Okay, we're going to the car because I don't need to spend nothing else here. I don't know what's going on at Tory Burch, but this is the only store with a line. It must be some Mother's Day sale that I don't know about. We stopped for a little lunch break at Salah, got me some water, and a shrimp salad with vinegar. Not that I'm annoyed, I'm just finding out Salada has an app as I'm walking out. They have, I've seen that they have an app that you can get points and get free stuff. Y'all know I eat a Salada not once a week, but at least twice, two to three times a month. No one has ever told me. I'm mad, I want a backdated point. <laughs> Shoot. Anyways, we are now at the Galleria. Uh, I'm with my boyfriend, he's downstairs getting a haircut. So I'm about to just walk around for a little minute. I don't need nothing at all. Well, 
I do have this, uh, my bracelets that I was thinking of exchanging, which I don't think I'm gonna do now. I think, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep them. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually a tripod. Just like a taser. Anyway, y'all I'm back. It is 10.30 at night. I have to pack. I have to pack, I'm not packed. I haven't even made a list of what I need to pack. Oh my God, but I came back on camera to do a mini haul since I did bring you guys with me to the outlet mall. I need to show you guys what I got, okay? So we gonna start with Lululemon. Y'all pretty much saw what I tried on is what I got. The other sizes, I didn't even try those on cause they were 14s and I was like, they're not gonna fit. I have a question. What's so special I did, about Lululemon? I don't know. It's just... Because every, everybody loves it. So I did get some the leggings. These are the Align leggings, 28-inch inseam. They are originally $98. I got them for $69. So I got this rust color. And then I also got the matching jacket. The jacket is called Nulu Cropped Defined Jacket. It doesn't have an original price on here, but the sale price is 79. I love this. It fits so cute and I love the color. Then I also got this pinky color. It looks orange on camera. Ashley, what color is this to you? That's very, very, very neon pink. Neon, neon pink. That's neon, neon. Yeah, this is like a, a, a pink, pinkish color. It's not yeah. orange. But anyway, this is called the Align. Oh, these are the Align leggings also, originally 98. I got them for 79. And then I got the matching sports bra, originally 52, and it was 19.99. Then I also got, y'all know on the checkout line, they be having stuff that you don't need. I got some things that I don't need. So I got some socks to match this outfit right here. Y'all see that? So they just say Lululemon and gold. So I thought these would be super cute. The original price was $18 and I got them for $9. And then I also got a white pair and it just says Lululemon in gold. Same thing, $9. Then we went to the cosmetics company store. I did not buy any perfume, so I'm proud of myself. I just bought two packs of the MAC makeup wipes. If you guys have never used MAC makeup wipes, they are the best. I they're the best makeup wipes I have ever used and they stay soaking wet. I love them. They stay so wet that I have went through TSA and TSA had to check my bag because they're like, you have a liquid in it. I'm like, no, I don't. They're like, yes, you do. And I said, no, I don't. They're like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And it was these. Okay. Then I got some Tom Ford uh, matte foundation. It's called Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. This was on there 75% off table so so this was originally $90 and I got it for 20 and then these were originally this was originally $30 and I got it for 15 I'm confused they took 30 an additional 30% off then they took an additional 10% anyways my total was $62 for all three items then Forever 21, this is a dress that is currently in my basket right now on their website. I had saw it in store at my local Forever 21 that just didn't have my size. So I put it in my basket online and then I find it in the outlet store for 30% off. So it's just a super long tube top dress and it comes it look i didn't try none of this stuff on but it looks like it's gonna come like almost to my ankles and it just very much so gives like skims vibes like you really can't see the material but it's giving skims it's giving it's gonna be sucking you in okay we'll see whenever i do try it on then this one i saw in my local store also i thought this one was super cute now this one i didn't put in my basket i just was like eh I don't want to pay for this. Why is he so loud? This is just a one shoulder top. It's thick ribbed. 
midi dress. I got it in a size large. I will let you guys know how all these fit whenever I try them on. It won't be tonight because y'all know me packing for a trip be taking like an hour and a half or two hours. I'm, it's only a two day trip. So I'm, I'm praying that I can get it, get all my stuff packed in a carry on bag super quick. We'll see. But anyway, moving right along. I got this top. I thought this was cute for the summertime. I don't know. It's just a cropped button down shirt. It is pinstriped. It got bungees here. Yeah. Then I just thought this was a cute little whatever type of top. Just a little crop top. This, you know, it's cream. It was only $14 with the 30, and then it had an additional 30% off. So, so I paid $75 for everything. $74.22 with the 30% off. So, and she said that I can return them to any regular Forever 21 if they don't work out. She was like, yeah, you don't have to return it to the outlet. She was like, you can return it at any store. So. I was like, cool, bitch. And y'all, scan your receipts on Fetch Rewards. Scan your receipts. Scan your receipts. Scan your receipts so you can get your points on Fetch Rewards. This is not sponsored by them. Y'all know I've been using Fetch Rewards for a super long time now. You scan any type of receipt and you get points. And those points turn into gift cards. I literally just use Southwest gift cards to buy my next flight. Because I'm going somewhere. <laughs> very shortly again so yeah they have delta gift cards southwest airlines hotel gift cards starbucks chili's taco bell wherever you could think of they have a gift card for them okay y'all use my code that's on the screen use my code you put my code in and when you scan your first receipt you get i think like 500 or a thousand bonus points okay all right y'all let me get my mind right with this packing me and my boyfriend was eating those peaches. If y'all was looking at Jennifer's channel, y'all would have seen them moonshine peaches and they were so disgusting. But why me and him was tossing them back, tossing them back. And then was drinking, so child, I got the itis. We just ate. I had me a big old nice cob salad from the steakhouse. So yeah, I got the itis. I'm ready to go to sleep. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this weekly vlog. It's going to be super long. I just have a feeling it's going to be hella, hella long. But you guys say y'all love my long ass videos. So thank you guys for rocking with me. I love you guys so much. My next two vlogs should be travel vlogs. My next two, y'all. Two. And I probably, I might throw a sit down video in there since y'all be liking to hear me talk for some reason. Y'all say I sound like Beyonce. I need Beyonce money though. <laughs> and I ain't got it. So bye. Anyways, love you guys. See y'all on the next one. Bye.